got a call and they said, you better get to, better get to the island because the military has landed there. They brought him in by, by helicopter. That was <laughs> a difficult, difficult day. It, you know, it smacked of an invasion uh, uh, to, with an end to occupy. I knew instinctively they weren't there just to protect and the uh, the SQ who were looking for uh, who were looking for weapons. They were there to come across that bridge, march through the community, and show that you know they had taken over and they're going to take over. Uh, there were reports supposedly that at the the boat club or the yacht club, whatever it was called, at the very tip of the island, that uh, there had been some weapons staff there and this and that. And the aim was was to go cordon off the area, search it, and get out. We were not expecting it, but once we saw the helicopters come down, of course, the community reacted. Sadly, the helicopters flew right over the reserve, and anybody just had to look up knew what was going on, and, and you know the people moved towards the source. So I went to the forefront right away, and I saw whoever their commander was, and I said, you're crazy. You better get the hell out of here. You have no business coming here. It was a standoff, essentially. I, uh, everyone was there, everyone. Uh, Joe Norton was giving them shit. And then my role was just to keep in between and, and with the help of others. I said, look guys, we gotta keep a barrier between them, our people and them, because we don't want this to turn into a bloodbath. No way you can go up this They're going gas now. Go back up on. People were, were like in a frenzy saying, they're here, they're looking around the island. What are we gonna do? What the community did, was they went out to meet them. So there was no, there was no, uh, what you call a no man's land at all. They were face to face. And that started, I don't know, eight, nine, ten hour battle after that. It was just insane. It was chaotic. We had to hold the bridge. We pushed them back. We couldn't let them uh, take the bridge. Yeah. That's the bridge that they attempted to come across, to come into the community and march to the community. And that's the area, really, where the, where the, uh, where the people stood their ground. And we tried to actually push them off the island. Then they started to throw the tear gas, and all the people that were here uh, tried to escape it by hiding under the bridge here. It was burning, stinging coffee, but we stepped on the other side of the tear gas because it was, the wind was blowing it that way. And the people were just like going across the bridge here, going to the forefront and saying, and starting to throw rocks, starting to fight and saying, you're not, you're not coming, you know, you're not coming here. We won't allow you across the bridge. We pushed them back constantly, back and back and back, further and further and further away from, away from this area. And then one of them, I forget his name, he was a really nice kid, long, long black hair, uh, broad face, big guy, and he just jumped out of the, the line he was in and started bashing this kid soldier. And then everyone started to do the same thing. And that's when they shot into the air, the soldiers. And everyone backed off, of course, but not much. The women were right in there, and they got, they got their hands on the troops as much as the men did. Most of the people that were doing the screaming and yelling, I'm not saying all, oh, most were the women. We, have, we listen to our women, you know, they, our society is a matriarchal society. Where were you? Attacking them, please. The uh, troops or whoever is in charge, I think just thought they could roughshod, you know, run right over them. And it just didn't happen. The troops, uh, you, you could hear their guns rattling, you could hear the, the guns rattling as they got a, the, uh, I guess their, their level of anxiety really went up. They couldn't get out, they were stuck here. They couldn't, certainly couldn't cross the bridge. There was no way. They assumed this would be a victory for the army. Uh, they were wrong. One of our elders now who has passed away, 
uh, called the men together and we uh, started making fires. But as that, as that went on, he decided uh, that, you know what, this would be a good time to do a stomp dance. The helicopters came back, picked everybody up, and they left. And everybody got together and started doing a, a stomp dance. A dance to, uh, to celebrate our victory. And that's what it was.